And we are back. All right, let's see, little sniff it. Hey, how about, get up. Uh. Hey, uh, <clears throat> hey, I was just on one of my legendary, man or legally mandated 50 minute breaks. That's fine, but uh, time's up. Oh. Hey. Oh, okay, so they do sell stuff here. It just looks like a collectible and a shiny, though. Mm hmm. Souvenirs, get your souvenirs. Come and get them. How much? Uh, that much. That's not worth it. I'm not a completionist. 24, what was it, 24,800? Yeah, Jeez. it was 24K. I was like, no. Ugh. I'm nowhere near completing this game. I ain't got no time for that. Now, if we just happen to get like a bajillion dollars. Yeah, if I have a million or whatever mun muns like I did in. Moonlighter, then sure. What of elemental idol? Maybe on my own I'd feel, but you know, I don't think you get anything for completing this. So, is there a pathway to your left? Nah, I think it's just this. Well, actually, you're right, because there's one. Um, well, probably here. leads to like the next hot spring. Oh, perhaps. Didn't really like it, wasn't even that visible. One moment, sir, I will need to look at your VIP pass. Oh, thank God we bought that. It's not a oh, VIP no, that, was your, that was your stamp sticker pass thing. The VIP pass might be the same one as the one from your, uh, there you go. Ro oh, oh, maybe not pass. royalty. That's not okay. a VIP pass. Get the hell out of here. What the heck? All right. Well, I think I need to probably get, visit all the hot springs and then I'll probably get a VIP pass. Yeah. All getting the, all the stamps out. Nothing. Nada. Yeah. I don't think you get really anything for doing completion, so it's like, ah, that's cool that, that I love the fact that they have the gallery and the museum is really neat. Um, oh, it is pretty tight. But yeah, I'm not a big Mario completionist. A little completion reward would be cool. A little bit, yeah. I don't know what you'd really get out of this. Hey, you got Fire elemental one. idol. You I imagine. You think there's two more on the other side? No, at least three. <laughs> huh. Poor Bowser Jr. <laughs> I mean, typically, I don't usually go for completion stuff anymore in video games. I did it a lot on the PlayStation 3. Mm -hmm. I was competing a lot with my brothers at the time. They kind of started a mini competition where they said, hey, let's see who can get the most platinum trophies. Yeah. I ended up with 40. Those nerds never caught me. What? I got six. Goddamn, I'm not even close. I, I, it might not be 40. It's definitely close to the 30 marker, though. That's I think I got like of, 30, that's a lot of platinums, 33. man. I know it is. Unless a lot. you're cheating for games like nah, that have like eight trophies. The only one I don't easy. really count is um, <clears throat> Heavy Rain because I got help with that one. Um, I mean, that sounds like it would be like torturous to do Heavy Rain though. Like <sighs> every ending, every cutscene. So good doing and bad. every ending really wasn't that bad in that game. Okay. The thing that was really annoying. I was didn't there play was, it, so I just assumed. Yeah, there was this car scene um, because of the way that game plays, and it's all different like hey you have to play this perfectly scene mm -hmm. the car one gave me a ton of trouble in comparison i platinum marvel vs capcom 3 so like typically games with you know difficult control schemes don't usually bother me mm -hmm. um i go this way okay that should be everything on the left side then yeah i think so there was another uh at least two on the other right side that i mm -hmm. noticed looks like oh. yeah there's two on the right side and there's two over here this is probably one of the trophies um, One of the elemental I, yeah, I definitely got my uh, completionist nature out of the way uh, out of, after college. Okay, it was neither of them. Water buckets. It's water buckets. It was not not expecting that one. Yeah, I feel you with a lot of that, too. At least for stuff that isn't, like, not a challenge challenge, but they're kind of like just menial tasks. Yeah. You're still it, on your way to the Spring of Jungle Mist. Continue ahead. I really like the Assassin's Creed game, so I platinum a bunch of those, but I've gotten to the point now in my oh, in the, right gaming there. life where I don't, uh... Oh, get out of this, Sniffy. Get back to the job. There's not a toad. I'm not sure, Geek. I uh, just, uh, slipped. Yeah, a lot of play. <laughs> that was the second one for the shop. Oh. Shirking his duties. Spring, Spring of, of Jungle, Jungle Mist. Mist. Official path. Oh. Does this mean there's an this is the, path? This is the jungle Deku. Uh, I didn't even see what that was. Was that a toad? <laughs> yeah. The spring of the jungle mist is one of our most secluded hot springs. Speaking of, uh, you can go ahead. Good luck and enjoy your soak. Speaking of that, I really do hope at some point they port some of those 3DS games like Ocarina of Time remake and Majora's Mask remake. I'd love to be able that. to play them. Yeah, and those remakes are really good. Honestly, sure, they don't look as good as switch games but they were made with modern hardware just ported as like at 1080p and i'd be happy with that yeah kind of like a, how, how they did the um yeah recent legend of zelda stuff yeah i would like to see them do that with uh what they did with 3d mario yeah. the 3d all-stars wow well that hurt 
<clears throat> wow, look at the size of that tree. What kind do you think it is? Deku. <laughs> There's something, something, something I didn't get to read. Do you think the hot spring is up there? That do you think Baka goes nearby? So cool. Goddamn Deku. Um. Yeah, it's funny that some people were. I understand why people thought the price was too much for 3D All Stars, but I went. Uh, I was finding old receipts for games that we bought. I forgot that Link's Awakening was a sixty dollar game too. Oh, you too. said. Oh, I, I heard older seats. Yeah, old receipts. No, 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 older. Yeah. Seats like sitting down. Oh, older seats. I was seats. like, wait, you found older seats? I did find older. Instead of like a fucking like a like a remastered lingo. I found the chair we broke. Oh God. Uh, and back in Bully. Yeah. Oh, the bridge is out. Well, why are all of the bridges broken everywhere? I know something weird is going on with that big tree, but we can't get across to check it out from here. If only one of us could fly. If only two of us could fly. If only three of us could fly. Hmm. You see that path? Perhaps there's another way to get there. Maybe. But I found that game was $60, and even when I bought it at the time, I was like, oof, is this worth 60 Yeah, but what? man. How much is it to get a physical copy right now? Link's Awakening? Yeah. Like Link, the looked old... like there's another path to the left right there. Not like the, not the brand new, because it was remade, remade. It was, uh, so, you know, it mm -hmm. warranted 60 and I was fine with it. But when the 3D All-Stars thing came out, because it was, at being at 60 I wasn't surprised at that point. I was like, oh, Nintendo doesn't release $40 games. They pretty much only do 60 Yeah, yeah. Um, I was just thinking for the for the aspect of like how much would it get? Link's Awakening is not too hard to get for the Game Boy. I think it's still under like twenty. Is it okay? Yeah, and you can buy it, like if you have a 3DS, you can buy it on the eShop for like ten dollars. Huh? Oh, it's so lush and tropical in here. I love the like visuals and depth yeah, that they got really going cool. on, the atmospheric, like the the shadows and everything. It's good. I expect no less from Fingers Bar. They spare no respect for their customers. No respect. No, hey, hey, Keith. I expect that this route may uh, help us reach the other side of that down bridge. Okay, let's do it. Yeah, that's not a commentary on whether or not it's worth it or not, but I was well, just that's, like, oh. that's on whoever wants to buy it. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. That's up to the consumer to choose I, whether they want as, to spend that much. As someone who doesn't have access easily to any of those things, because I don't yeah. have the old systems, worth it to me. That's pretty much have been my take. I wish it was a little cheaper, mind you. I wish. The oh, of course. <laughs> I wish the collection and Link's Wouldn't Awakening. Wouldn't it be great if it, it was given away in the and the if you have the Nintendo membership yeah. or whatever it was? I wish it would have been forty dollars. That's uh, the price I wanted it at. But I also just it doesn't surprise. It didn't surprise me when yeah. Nintendo was like, "This is sixty. I'm like, I was just prepared for it. I was like, yeah, it's gonna be sixty. Oh, hmm. It looks like we have a choice to make. There's. Left and right. I did those backwards because I thought she was going to look Is left it, first. Do we play the DLC for the Zelda game or do we play the DLC for something else? I think we should go this way. Call it my origami sense. I just realized that um, oh. both Pokemon and uh, the Zelda game we played, the rhythm one, mm -hmm. both had DLCs released. Like Zelda one came out yesterday or something like that. And then like the Pokemon one's just out now. Zelda, coming out soon. Zelda one? Uh, the rhythm one we oh, played. Oh, Cadence of Hyrule. Cadence of Hyrule. Okay, I was thinking of uh, Link's Awakening. No, no, yeah. I, okay, I, yeah. I, I jaunted off to a different. And zone. that was just wait. That was that the Skull Kid one or was yeah, that it's the... the Skull Kid one? So they're like story uh, we'll stuff. We'll get to it when we Eventually. get to it. Yeah. Is that though? Well, I can. Uh, I think we should go this way. Call it a uh, Kamek Dance. Kamikolo sense. <laughs> well. well. Your sense of direction is really bad, so I'm gonna <laughs> go this way. Sam's gonna go to the right. Uh, <coughs> I don't know, you the people listening to me. Oh no, I'm starting to regret my decision. Mm -hmm. Too late. All in. So I'll give you another chance to back out. You sure? I want. I don't. I'm sure. Yes. Aww. You're going that way. A wise decision. The fuck, Mario? Wait, this doesn't feel right. I've never had anyone to take my advice outright. How nerve it. Come on, Olivia. He obviously gets beaten over the head all the time by Bowser. He deserves a little bit of, like... He's still around. Olivia yeah. will not be around again after this game. I guarantee it. Uh, not this Kamek, though. A different Kamek will be around. I guess, yeah, I guess there's a paper Kamek and a Kamek Kamek, yeah. right? Who knows if we'll ever see this Kamek again. They all look alike. Oh, shit. Did you guys hear that? The fuck was that? Was it just my imagination? Probably not. Probably. And then we go this way. Yeah. <laughs> Fuck that. It's all oh, safe. I'm surprised they didn't actually stop, stop you. you. Yeah. Oh. Wait, oh, wait. Yeah, okay. It's going to zone into a different place. Yeah. 
then they'll probably hey, give me the bubble and I don't want to deal with that dialogue. You probably box. go to the wall and he's like, hey, what about my way? What about my way? You're going to hurt my feelings. Break. Break. The, um... Oh, we have another choice to make. Uh -oh. Okay. Oh, hmm. no. Is this the jungle lost woods? Probably. Let's see. Since I was correct last time, and every time, every time. 100% <laughs> of the time. I may add, 100% of the time. I assume you will follow me. Uh, I knew Kambik was right though. Oh, that's true. <laughs> I was gonna let you do it. <laughs> uh, maybe she's just gonna imitate then. <laughs> um, no, I won't. <laughs> I know Kambik was right last time, and I was wrong, but I have that funny feeling again about this path. Hee 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 hee. I assure you that this is the correct way. Have I ever been wrong before? You sound like you sound like Greg from Over the Garden Wall. When he laughs. laughs. Uh, Greg's probably my favorite character. He's the one that wears the kettle on his head, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. The other one is Wart. The, uh, I do like Greg with the with the that's a rock dunce cap fact. cone. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Good show. Go watch it if you have the opportunity to. It's on. It's super uh, short. I think it's too. on Amazon. Uh, Prime. You can finish it in like under two hours. Oh yeah, it's it's the length of a movie. Go watch for... that instead of watching uh, the the High School King or God of High School or whatever. Don't know what that is. You trust me, even though I was wrong before? Yes. I don't know if you were wrong. Oh. No one's whoa, whoa, whoa. wrong and no one's right. I'm literally just following my gut for which direction I think is the best way to go. That rustling again. Ooh, it's kind of scary. What is that noise? This is my first time in a jungle. Are you mysterious crashing noise is good, or are you bad? God of High School is a show that's on Crunchyroll. It's an anime. I kind of figured it was an anime. Yeah. It sounds like an anime title. It looks like visually it's really good, but story-wise it is so turn your brain off. Like, There's a hole there. More turn your brain off than even The Fast and the Furious. Oh, jeez. Yeah. <laughs> like, that was just like, just like fucking sit back with beer and have fun. Just be like, this is... It's enjoyable nonsense. It's enjoyable <laughs> nonsense, but you're like, uh, characters have depth and emotion, and you watch The God of High School, and it's like, do characters have depth and emotion? Like, they'll do like a quick, uh -oh. like, 10 second flashback. <laughs> but the visuals are astounding. So it's like, okay, I, I can understand why some people like it, but I got halfway through episode two, and it's like, wait, none of these fights have any meaning. <laughs> uh, oh. That was, that was Kamek. My life just flashed before my eye, then we should think of my path. When this is all over, I'm buying the boat. Call it a midnight cry, if you will. I'm hitting them. I'm you buying see the boat. things that spring back to life? Yeah, they did. But there's leaks. I can't believe it. Uh, I had such a strong feeling about this path. And there's that scary rustling in the trees again. Rustle, rustle, rustle. Oh, maybe that's why I chose this path. <laughs> well, at least no one was hurt. And Kamek's getting the boat. Kamek's getting the boat. Don't get in a boat. Don't get a boat. It's just a hole in the... Oh, fuck. Huh. <laughs> it's just a hole in the water. Maybe if I just... That you throw money into. He's under there. Yep. Uh, just hammer? pile up enough confetti to the point where you can just use it as a ramp and walk over. Can or, I just, like, or, spring or off these? Fast and Furious style. But, yeah. Hit it off a sweet jump. Amazing, amazing visuals. I might finish it. It's only, like, a 12-episode, 13-episode anime. Oh, oh, um, oh, apparently, oh. it's based on a Way webtoon. Battle. Yeah. Um... What's it called again? King of High School? God of High School. God of High which School? Which okay. doesn't make sense because not all of them are high schoolers. Like, I don't understand. And like, there's no such thing as God. There's like the, there's also <laughs> adults that are competing in it. So why do they want to be the God of High School? I, I'm, I'm still really gonna, confused it's gonna have on the plot. On yeah. I think you have to shift the outer ring so he lines up at the back. Uh, uh, twist. The outer ring. The one more ring out. There you go. Hey. Wait, what the fuck? Yeah, he's not oh, on I that. thought he was on that. No, yeah, he's not God on that. damn perspective. That, that's why I was confused. I'm like, yeah, no, he's no, not that on was, that one. Yeah, absolutely wrong. Um, fuck if I know, man. I'd say at least go for that first one, so the so that the emblem locks up, because this is a wave battle. I assume next wave is going to be strong. When all else fails, especially if they're giving you the instant kill thing if you activate it, you know. Yeah. I don't imagine they have tons of HP, but they probably do significant damage. What okay. the fuck was that? Is it two damage? I kind of... I know how to get this guy on there. Okay, oh, that then. lines you up. Yeah. All right, cool. Thanks, Toads. This, um, uh... I'm okay at puzzles, usually. But yeah. But this just... Maybe it's because I, I haven't controlled it. It's, yeah. it's... 
it's just not meshing with my uh, with my brain, my well, big fucking noggin. People can correct me if I'm wrong, but I can't recall any type of puzzle game that uses a similar system to it. This is like, very it's, different to me. It's not so foreign that you can't understand it, mm -hmm. but it's foreign enough that you're like, wait a minute, how do I do this? How um, do I do? Oh man, that was oh, yeah, an easy one to line up too. Yeah. Yeah, I'm, I'm trying to look at the shadows of the bees and not the actual bees. So you can it's like out what doing a Rubik's cube for a lot of this. It's easy to figure out one face, I but it's hard. Do, to, I can't do Rubik's cube. I can't do at Rubik's cube. Right, that's what I mean. So, like a Rubik's cube, it's easy to figure out one face of it, mm -hmm. but then trying to make sure that all the rest of them match up requires a whole different level of understanding. Yeah, Striker could school us. Yeah, I'm sure he could. Striker's good at Rubik's cube stuff. I always liked Rubik's cubes. My uncle had when I was growing up. They um, fucked me up. Dude. I just want one just to have one, not mm -hmm. for like any real reason but because my uncle had one when i was growing up i wish i was like that's really cool looking i just thought it was super impressive the people who were able to do it and oh, like yeah. do it well or even speed i watched doing. a documentary on like people that uh do it it was like a 30 40 minute documentary there's, there's systems to figuring it out yeah. right it was like, like speed want speed people though like world champions or whatever yeah. or something like Stryker that delved into that from what i understand yeah it was really interesting to see like what that world was it's like my shift. brain that third ring out? Yeah, my brain just definitely doesn't work that way. Mm -hmm. um, so it's impressive to see other people do it. Yeah, my mind doesn't connect any of that. <laughs> I imagine a lot of it is just, you know, eventually learning the patterns and understanding how it works. But yeah. You really have to dedicate yourself, I believe, to that. Setting your, I imagine it's like setting yourself up to a goal of like, okay, step one, start and try and get a row or, you know, try and yeah. get something up here. And then from here, there's only four possible combinations in order to keep that row without gaining something into the you know the next set to where you need to mm -hmm. shift the Rubik's cube or so, you know I'm probably not explaining it, anything but like I'm sure it's something like that where there's a method. Um, but we'll we'll have to talk about that next time, guys. Yeah, party time and achievements later. Beep, bop, boop, wee. Yeah, I don't know how people do it with Rubik's cubes. Like I've looked at it a bunch of times. And it seems like they don't even look at it. They're just like. <laughs> done mm -hmm. how how it's super impressive your hands never left it so how'd you know what was underneath your hand mm -hmm. that's at least the way it looks it does no, look no, like it's that. not that way but much like cup stacking did your body just move for you